Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we got some locating to do today. Got about 1,200 acres to do. It's a beautiful 55 degrees out here. Pretty prime morning. But they're just getting the GPS. They're just getting the base station all figured out and then they'll be over here with this with the Toyota and we'll we'll get to surveying. We got a new surveying rig. They're gonna do the Toyota and this brand new 1500 Polaris Ranger. So that's gonna be sweet. Yeah, I don't think she's supposed to be like this. What do you think, Bubbles? I think it's all bad. Yeah, it's all bad. So while they're going to get the base station set up with the Toyota, I'm just going to do some locating and shoving up some pipes, figuring out where they go. That way we don't have to, that way we can tie them in whenever we do this project. So it'll be, should be fun, I guess. There's our pride and joy waiting for us. We got our little bundle of joy all strapped up. Now we gotta try crossing Interstate 28, so it should be fun. People have been killed after their car slammed into an excavator. So I found our county main over here. It's probably a 15 or an 18, I'm not really sure, but I thought it was kind of cool how there's just like an inch gap right there, and somehow it didn't create a suck hole. Thought that was kind of neat, but you can see it's running water down there pretty cool but we located it back there's an eight inch tile over there we located it out in the field and then located it back found our flag and we just dug right there we found it so good now we just got to locate it out into the field and then we're good four foot eight that's how deep our pipe is. So, yep. We put big flags in because when it it's planted, obviously, as you can see. And when the crops get tall, you can still see your flags. Just some food for thought for you, in case you're wondering. Surveying a big project. We're laying boundaries. Yeah, we're, we don't typically have three deep when we're surveying the field, but we're uh, all getting our bearings on this big project, and then we're all going to divide and conquer. Yep. Try not to run over any standing crop while we do it. Yeah, this is beans in this field. This is 1,200 acres in one big block we're trying to get surveyed today. She's a beaut, Clark. Our next field is over there. This is just one 600 acre block we gotta get done. Okay, set a flag right here. Probably want you to locate this one. Okay. Under the uh, Woo. This is what this is, the base station is connected to. They just dropped me off. I gotta go do some locating. They're gonna keep running boundaries. And then eventually they'll start once they get their boundaries done, they'll start running up and down the rows. So they've got the boundary ran on this 300 acre field, give or take a little maybe. So now we got Milk Dad running the rows on this side and then Money Mike is all the way over there. I don't know if you can see him or not. But now they're just, they're gonna obviously try to stay in, inside the boundary lines and they're surveying. And that basically gives Money Mike a topo topographic map so that he can then design it into a pattern, pattern tiled field or project for us to do later this fall or I think we're going to maybe put in a big main this this summer. We've got a 30 inch main to go under this railroad here so it should be fun. Baby. 
be wondering how we're surveying with two machines. And the way they're doing it is they benched in the same spot with both machines. That way, both machines have the same bench height. They can survey a whole, the whole however much they want and it'll mesh, it'll all mesh together. That's the whole thought process. I guess Money Mike will have to determine if it works or not whenever he's designing it. But yeah, we think it'll work. Hopefully it does. base station is set up on the hill somewhere over there and it'll basically talk to the globe on top of both there's a globe on top of the Ranger and there's a globe on top of the Toyota and it'll it'll talk to the globes through satellites and it's basically mapping this whole field obviously for the topographic map it seems kind of mind-boggling to me but there's some people out there that know what they're doing, I guess. My job is just to locate tiles and figure out where they're going. That way we can hook them in whenever we pattern tile it. There you can see both trucks running out there. Well, I guess one's not a truck, but... Zooming. After about seven full business days, I finally found a tile. I dug for probably a hundred yards down there, couldn't find anything, but over here in this low area, I finally found one, so that's good. This tells us that we need to run an eight inch tile up, up here to the neighboring property whenever we tile this and then hook it into them, that way it doesn't create problems for them. That's, what, that's all I'm doing just making sure that everything gets tied back in. So now what we need to do is put a piece of pipe over it. That way it doesn't create a suck hole. And then obviously I got the flags there for it. Yeah, she's moving a little bit of water. After another two full business days, I finally found this one. another eight inch it looks like I dug probably 100 foot that way it's really hard to see little tile lines in this slabby clay stuff but a trick I found is look for like it wasn't that big but see over here there's like little pieces of clay that's what I looked at when I walked back through it and so I decided to dig here and obviously I found something. So bumblebee tuna. So it looks like that when we tile this, all we gotta do is run a couple of eights up through the to the property line. So that should be easy. Good thing they weren't 12s or 10s because that could have gotten real expensive real quick for them. For those of you that don't know what farm drainage is or field tile this is a completely plugged four inch clay pipe and as you can see our water level is a couple feet below that but this clay pipe isn't doing anything and then if you come down here you see the water levels right there we have a completely plugged six inch clay tile so so clearly this farm has some very poor drainage which this fall, the tables are getting ready to turn. Well, it looks like they're done. The base station was sitting out there on top of the hill, but I guess they picked it up and they've moved on, so. I just got a few more tiles to locate and then I'll be out of here. So, toodles. I don't think we've ran over any crop yet. I'm not happy. 